This is Bob's, uh, hello Sonny, here is Sonny, the, the solar dog. This is Bob Siebert's uh, AC-150 unit. <laughs> There's Sonny, the wonder dog, the solar dog. Could you explain this, um, this dog? no, this car, Bob? How do you get gas into it anyway? I tried I to put... Put it right in here, I'll show you. All right. So that's where the gas this pump you, goes? Oh my god. <laughs> no, you're kidding oh me. Oh my god, I don't know how. Somebody stuck, a, somebody stuck around, a thing in there. Damn plug in there. Well, it's probably we'll some... Get rid of it. Uh, maybe they were siphoning gas out of it. It was probably General Motors. So can you explain this thing and how it is supposed to work, you know? Well, um, this is a hybrid car, actually. Yes. It's got two kinds of batteries. Okay. That makes it a hybrid, doesn't it? That is, that's right. Yeah got uh, good batteries and bad batteries. Uh, unfortunately, it's got good batteries and bad batteries from each of two manufacturers. So, so they don't quite ma match up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm still on friendly terms with the Peak Battery Company. And uh, I haven't been speaking to Thunder Sky for about a year now. Thunder Sky. Actually, Thunder Sky hadn't been speaking to me for a year, and I guess I haven't been speaking to them for nine months. Uh, can you can you explain how many of the batteries are which sort? It does look like there are two sorts of batteries in there. Yes, yeah, you're looking at both right there. Yeah. The Thunder Skies that I have are the, are the survivors of the first pack, first pack of 100, and I still have 80 of them. So 80 of the Thunder Sky are still functioning. Right, and they are currently working better than the Peaks. And these are the Thunder Sky here. Thunder Sky. And the battery management system on top of it. The battery management system, of course, is a work in progress. And these are the peak. That's and correct. Peak lithium, and though they aren't working as well. No, they're not. They should be, but they're not. So what, what do you think this story is in the Thunder Sky? Did, did maybe the bad cells, maybe there were 20 of the 100 were just bad, and once they failed, the other 80 worked properly? I think so, yeah. And so, th but Thunder Sky is not willing to replace those bad cells. Absolutely not. Okay, and uh, but the. And I think Thunder Sky. I, I'm not sure, but I, I suspect Thunder Sky doesn't make this particular model anymore because they've been touting a newer model. Uh huh. Which is more conservative. The Thunder Skies are lithium cobalt. Right. And I understand. And, and the uh, peaks are lithium iron phosphate, which seems to be the way they're going. The industry is going. Uh -huh. They're not as energetic, but they're cheaper and safer. Yeah, the the thing is, they're different voltages too. Oh yeah, three point two versus three point seven. These are the peak cells here. These are um, see this cell leaked. Uh huh. And that's um, pretty serious. But some of them have can't see it on these. Have what I thought were bad welds. Uh huh. And if it has a bad weld, of course, it'll heat up, and that one. Now these are um, these are flash welded like the AC propulsion stuff, so they, they yep. have actually a surface welder that doesn't yep. disturb the chemistry. But I'm not sure they got it. I don't think they have the welding down as well as AC propulsion. Each of these little batteries is is 10 watt hours. Each of these little cells, yeah. so it takes 100 to make a kilowatt hour. Five of these bricks. Five of these bricks to get a kilowatt hour. That's not very much because these are pretty light. Ah! Oh, sorry. And these are these are the peak batteries, so 10 watt hours per for each of those little cells, and we've got uh, 20. Oh, yeah. So this is uh, 0.2 kilowatt hours right here in this little thing. That's yeah. pretty light. Now this is a thunder sky that failed, and 20 out of the 100 failed. So this is one of those that failed. 3.7. Okay. One cell voltage. Yeah, one cell voltage. So it's a bunch of cells in parallel, or else it's a bag. These are the unprotected lithium cobalt, and right. and if they burn, it's a toxic burn because the cobalt is is kind of poisonous. Okay, how much better would it be if we just had nickel metal hydride batteries like in the RAV4EV made available? We didn't have to screw around with all this stuff. So over there, we see the peak batteries, and there there may be some issue about how they're welded together. The tops seem to be a little bit regular. These are 80 of the Thunder Sky, and they were originally 100 Thunder Sky. 20 out of the 100 failed, so that's sort of a, a success rate of, of you know 80 percent. So if you buy Thunder Sky, you have to be prepared for that kind of a failure rate. Thunder Sky so far has not honored and warranty has not replaced the 20 batteries that failed. 
that's why we have this uh, mixed pack here, sort of a hybrid pack. And you can, you can, you can see over here are some of the dead thunder sky cells. If 80 of those cells are working and 20 of them failed in the same in the same car, that's sort of a hint that you know there was some quality defect in those 20 cells. You know, eight, the 80 80 percent of them are working correctly. These 20 failed and are just dead bricks. You know, and here you see very expensive dead bricks. You know, this was a gutsy move on Bob Siebert to buy these things, but now since Thunder Sky is not standing behind them, you know, they're they're just they're just dead bricks. And you know, I could believe that it's it's possibly somebody else's fault, but the fact that 80% of them are working and 20% are not indicates that there's de a defect in manufacturing. The ones that were constructed correctly, the 80% are working and these are not, and so these should be replaced by Thunder Sky. So far, they have not done so. So I don't know if you can see this, these are the gold batteries, uh, the peak batteries, I'm sorry, peak batteries. These are the peak batteries, and there, there's welded copper strips across the top, but you, know, you can see that the, the welding job is not exactly the best in the world, and the ends are not even uh, deburred on these, uh, on these cuttings. And the, the flash welding that you have to do has to, to uh, be so uh, precise that it only melts the surface of the nickel uh, cathode or anode and, uh, and, and, and just melds, spot welds to the copper strip. Now, if you have it even a little bit wrong, you damage the material inside. And that, we presume, is why we have you know, a meltdown here. So once again, you know, these are a, a good chemistry that might have worked, but um, there was, there was um, uh, you know, probably the pack was put together a little sloppily. The ones that are put together correctly apparently, you know, do work.